Hey guys, what is up? This is AJ170, and today, guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to get an NES, SNES, and Sega Genesis all on your Fire TV and Fire Stick device, guys. So this does require a Fire Stick and a Fire TV, of course. This also requires the app called Steam, or Stream, my bad, I don't know why I said Steam, it's actually called Stream. There will be a link on how to get it inside of the description, guys, so don't forget to check out that app right there. Very, very, very important indeed, guys. But anyways, before I start the video off, you do need some type of controller that is supported on the Fire Stick. Now, I'm using a GameSir G3S to play these retro games on the Fire Stick, and it works perfectly fine. It's about maybe a $20 to $50 controller right there. Or if you want to get the expensive one, that's like $120, go right ahead. Or if you guys get one of those little Amazon gaming controllers, I'm pretty sure those would work with it too. Still not 100% sure though. I would probably recommend a gaming, uh, GameSir G3S. You can do simple Google search on how to get one but anyways can i get 170 likes also if you're new support the 170 and subscribe so with that said let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial guys all right so as you guys can see i'm on my fire stick now so the first thing you're going to do is open up the app called stream like i said guys you will need this dev uh, this app in order to do it if you don't know how to get stream there will be a link to that inside of the description don't forget to check that out very very important so here's stream right here so if i go ahead and open this up guys now this does take a couple of minutes to load i believe for me it probably took me about two and a half minutes right around there it always takes a long time to load so anyways i'm going to go ahead and skip all the way until it is done loading because even if I fast forward it's still gonna take a while so I'm gonna meet you guys back once it is done loading all right so as you guys see it has finished loading so you're gonna go ahead and hit the select button don't go up or down or anything like that just click the center button so you can proceed to stream then you guys are gonna go over to the left until you guys see Android apps and then hopefully the first one for you guys should be uh, play Genesis it should also be play NES and it should also be play SNES these are the three emulators you guys are gonna want to use they are all amazing guys I actually used play SNES for quite a while and then I deleted it because I got bored of it but I'm gonna be do using and NES as an example so let's go ahead and download this once you guys click the center button it's automatically going to start downloading so let's go ahead and wait for this to finish should only take a couple of more seconds all depending on your guys's internet connection Alright, so there we go. Once it is done downloading, it'll automatically ask you to install it, as you guys can see. So go ahead, scroll down, and then press install. And then let's go ahead and wait for this to uh, finish installing, guys. It shouldn't take that long at all. So once it finishes, go ahead and click open on it, guys. And after a couple of seconds, it should eventually load the app, guys. But if it does crash, once it crashes, just go ahead and restart your Fire Stick. So unplug it, plug it back in, or Fire TV, like actually from the outlet. And then go ahead and try opening the app again, and it should work, guys. So don't hit OK. Whatever you do, do not hit that. Just go ahead and wait for it to start downloading. As you guys can see, it's starting to download the other part of the emulator, because this has two different parts to it, guys. It has the, uh, basically the ROM selector, and then it has the emulator. So let's go ahead and wait wait for this to finish downloading it is almost done so once it gets done it's going to ask us to install this so go ahead and click install it is completely safe guys no worries at all so go ahead and wait for this to get done installing and hit done once you guys hit done the app should automatically reopen if not then it's going to bring you back to the app menu like i did to me right here so then go ahead and navigate to your play nes and then go ahead and open it up once you guys open it up it should be something happens a little bit different than the last time you guys are also going to have to download the assets which are also downloading the roms so let's go ahead and wait a couple of seconds for this to finish as you guys see it's downloading assets now if you guys are doing the snes it's going to take a couple of minutes same thing with the sega genesis for some reason the nes only takes a little bit remember guys this is an early beta stages it even tells you how to navigate through all of the roms so if we go ahead and click ok it should eventually load us up and there we go now guys all oh, for the sega genesis and the snes it actually shows the images of the game the only one that doesn't is the nes and i'm guessing that is because it is a beta so i'm actually going to navigate through all of these as you guys can see it even shows what the game is uh, if you stay on there for a couple of seconds it'll even kind of load the game it'll show you like a demo of it which is actually really really cool so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to find super mario because that's what i'm going to want to play for this guys just show you as an example now, I'm actually using my controller as a stand for my phone because I'm recording this off of my phone. 
I'm actually using the controller, my GameStar controller I was telling you guys about earlier, to actually use it as a stand. So uh, I can't really go and play a game and actually show you guys, but it does work indeed. There has been one other person that has made a video on this, but his way was a little bit different and he didn't really show you how to get it. So there's Super Mario Bros. As you see, they have a bunch of different versions of If I go ahead and go to Super Mario Bros. 3, that was probably my favorite one for the NES. So here it is right here. So let's go ahead and hit the uh, OK or Center button on your Fire TV stick remote. As you guys can see, there's a little game playing for a few seconds. Going to download the ROM, go ahead and wait, and then it should automatically open the ROM up. Now, from right here, guys, once you click a button on your controller, those little buttons right there on the screen should eventually go away. But if we go ahead and hit the three line thingies on our actual fire controller, this should pop up right here. So go ahead and go all the way down to options, then from there get click video, and then aspect ratio, and then do full screen, guys. It's going to make it look a little bit better. And then, of course, once you hit a button on your actual remote, like your actual gaming controller, it should all go away. But, uh, yeah, that's basically going to be just about it for this video, guys. This is AJ170 signing out. See you guys next time. And also, don't forget, you're going to need a gaming controller.